Hello, survivors. Welcome to the State of Decay 2 stream. I'm your host, Jeffrey Card, and uh, today we're going to have a little bit of a different stream than usual. We've got a few of our favorite people from Discord joining us. Um, so, let's, uh, Warbucks, do you want to uh, introduce yourself real quick? Hey, everybody. I'm Warbucks. You'll find me on the help section of Discord. You know, uh, come find me if you have any issues. Yeah, and then over here we got Scarproof. Scarproof? Hello, everyone. Uh, so Scarproof has been on the stream before, so you probably met him. And of course, we've got uh, Brant Fitzgerald right here, who's going to be paying more attention to the chat than the rest of us. Sort of. <laughs> uh, you'll probably do a better job than I do, typically, so uh, that'll be good. So uh, we're, we're featuring these folks because uh, they have been long-term, uh, really incredibly helpful and useful people on our Discord. And we don't even know if everyone out there in our audience is aware that our Discord even exists. Uh, I should pop over to the game here so that I can show you that I've got this link down below. Discord.gg slash State of Decay. If you want to connect with the community of State of Decay, that is sort of its uh, uh, sort of nerve center. Um, and we've got a lot of folks there who are very knowledgeable about the game. who have been playing for a long time, a couple of whom are going to be saving my life here in this nightmare game. And uh, at some point during this stream, we might get a visit from a third person. Uh, Court 88 meant to be here, uh, but is dealing with some, uh, s s some, some family issues at home. So we're hoping that she can join us too. But in the meantime... Uh, let's look at what we're doing here. So, you actually missed some of the some of the more uh, extreme drama that was going on before we got started. I had a character stranded on the rooftop of the Prescott Fire Station, and I felt like I was gonna need to call these guys in to save my life because there was a feral down there and a screamer and some bloaters and like a million <laughs> zombies. But then I suffered a power outage at my house. And the game sort of reset, and I was able to, to almost claim Prescott, then I realized I only have five people in my community. Uh, and so I can't claim Prescott, so I ran up here to Rusty Rosie's, uh, blew up a car in the river on the way here, and then <laughs> these folks managed to join me uh, just as I was arriving, helped me clear out the base, and now they're just knocking me around. Um, oh, whoa! This uh, broken's not in too good shape. <laughs> no, no. Do you want me to upgrade it? Yes. Yeah. Is it light or heavy? Uh, I think I it's probably light. It's probably light. So we probably don't have what it takes. No, I've got it right here. I mean, I don't have what it takes yet. Yes, yes. We have yeah. we have some very generous people here who are, are helping me get the stuff we need. So it looks like Warbucks is uh, going to grab their upgrade. There we go. Now, that's heavy. Now yeah, and then Jeff I'm hearing echoes from from my uh, game audio uh, <laughs> on your Discord, but that's fine. It just it just sounds you know like like I had something really important to say, so I said it twice. The it's only not. way, Jeffrey, the only way I can play uh, Nightmare is if I uh, if Scarproof jumps in and actually does everything for me, and I stand there and watch him do it. That's pretty <laughs> much what I'm planning to do today. Uh, okay, yeah, so we got the, that broken tracker upgraded. That's good. So, okay, so we've got a car. Uh, oh, Mike, unfortunately, my group is now... I, I've got lowered stamina because my group is starving to death. Uh, I try. I, my hope was that I was going to be able to collect some food uh, before we got started, and I was... I did, actually, but then I took so much time trying to get the base, I ran out of food again. So, we've got a couple of goals today. Number one, I've just uh, completed all of my active bounties, and so I want to go visit the bounty broker at some point and maybe pick up some critical response bounties because we're, you know, we're not going to be uh, retiring the critical response pack yet, not this month, but it's going to happen pretty soon. I want to make sure I've got all those bounties. Another thing we need is a bunch of food. Uh, my community is totally out of food, so we need to go scavenge for it. But then we've also got a bunch of play cards clustered right around Rusty Rosie's here. Uh, we should take those out too. So, uh, where, where do you guys want to start? Do you want to start uh, on the um, food pro problem, on the bounty broker problem? I know there's yeah. like a value wagon up the road, or, uh, and there's a barn Jeffrey, down here. Jeffrey. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people are commenting on um, the upgraded uh, Brogan car because you lost your um, storage slots. You want to comment on that? I lost my storage slots. Oh, oh, you mean like? Uh, are you talking about? What, did, was this originally the the Brogan that had the uh, the thing on the roof? Yes. Needs must as the devil drives. 
Yeah, so so basically, we, we decided that we wanted to upgrade the car to give it some more durability because we're in Nightmare and cars are made out of paper mache in Nightmare. Um, yes. So we so we willingly gave up the extra storage space in order to do it. This is the one vehicle upgrade. When you upgrade the Brogan, uh, whatever the name of the one that's got the cargo pod on top, when you Brogan upgrade Trek. that one, what was it, what's it called? The Brogan Trekker. The Trekker, yeah. When you upgrade the Trekker, um, it, it, it does, it's the only car that I think loses cargo space when you upgrade it. But I think we kind of judged that the uh, the, the the gains to armor uh, were, were were worth it. So yeah. So okay. So so what do you guys want to do? Uh, we could head over mm. to. Okay, it looks like one of you's marking a play cart. Do we want to head over to that play cart to the west, take it out, and then maybe head further up the road and, and uh, towards this second play cart that I'm marking in yellow, and then yeah. on the way, I think there's there I think there's a value along wagon the along the way to get some food. Yeah. Yep. All right. That well, sounds good to me. Okay, well, I'm uh, getting in the wrong door of this car because that's easy to do. And we're heading out. So, oh, uh, what do you think? Should I hit those bloaters? Probably no. not, right? Probably not. Let's avoid... Oh, I hit that car. Oh, my oh. gosh, I am the best driver. Okay. Oh, my... <laughs> Hope you're all uh, getting too car sick. Oh, my gosh. Should I just roll up on this sucker? Stay alert. Too many plague zombies around. Yes. Okay, how do we want to tackle this? Uh, just let Scarproof do everything? That's usually my strategy. I usually just firebomb the things un until there's uh, nothing left. There we go. <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've got a couple of uh, smaller Molotovs. Oh no, those aren't good enough. Yeah, oh, I might just save those for the- Oh, there's a Feral! Not anymore! Thank you. Oop, oop. Jeffrey, I suggest you just sit back and let the pros handle this. Yeah, I'm just kind of like running interference on the zombies on the outside. There we go. Nicely done. So this is this is what it's like to play with uh, some of the uh, more experienced members of our community. Fantastic. They just do all the work. <laughs> and I'm just here to clear up the mess. That's it. I'm, I'm just clearing up the little stuff. Okay, so unfortunately... Against these uh, army zombies, my firebombs are not going to be helpful. we got to actually take these guys out. Mono y mano. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Oh, what, 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 what do we got? Oh, uh, Juggernaut's coming from somewhere. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I, I thought I heard that roar, too. Here he is. Oh. Uh... North. North? Okay, north. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, let's not climb that wall, though. That wall looks like it's in uh, pretty bad shape. Ah. Oh, there's like two of them. There's two, two of the juggernauts. Yeah. Good time. Ah, I am the worst shot. Wow. So, one thing we've recently learned... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from a uh, from from a Reddit uh, from a Reddit user, think uh, named the Erudite, is that uh, juggernauts right now don't work the way that we uh, originally intended. Oh, by the way, I'm getting a lot of interference from, from one of your mics. I'm not sure what it is. Well, hold on a second here. I'm working on it. Oh oh oh! Is that Cord? Yes. Okay, good. Cord's joining <laughs> us. Thank you. We're so, so glad you made it. Okay, so basically, our intent was for uh, the caliber of bullet you're firing to make a huge difference to your effectiveness against juggernauts. And we also intended for the headshots to make a really big difference. It turns out right now in the game that's live, uh, that's not the case. <laughs> you just shooting them in the belly is just as good as shooting them in the head. Shooting them with the 22 is just as good as shooting them with the 762. I think the, uh, the 50 is still really powerful against them. That's the only caliber difference that matters. <laughs> so, we are aware of this issue. Court, Court, we're still getting some like music or something coming through on your side, maybe. Yeah, I'm working on shutting that off. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, literally just got back up here. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. We're really, really glad that you made it. 
but yeah, so okay. so right now you just shoot him in the in the belly button that uh, you know with with the twenty two. That's just as good as anything else. So we are working on a fix for that because that is not how that is supposed to go. We think that it actually some of the tuning changes we made when we were working on Heartland uh, made they made the improvements we wanted to make to help Heartland uh, plague wall battles go better, but they had that inadvertent consequence of kind of breaking a lot of the strategic stuff we wanted to work with Juggernauts. So we're fixing it. So uh, we'll have more information on that later, on exactly uh, how things work. But while we're fighting Juggernauts together, <laughs> I figured I'd point out that uh, that is an issue. And to, and to thank the Erudite uh, on Reddit for, for, for pointing that out, because uh, it's been really, really helpful. We love it when people put the time into really figuring out how our game is working, because half the time, that kind of research is what it takes. Like, And, and we don't even know what's going on uh, until somebody I'm, points it out. I remember yeah, reading that. It's 54 shots he's doing <laughs> <laughs> put a, they put in a lot of work. Hey, Jeffrey? Yes? You might want to open that heart see if there's a food ruck in there. Oh, there's a materials ruck in there. All right. And a target pistol. That's useful. And I think that's most of the most useful stuff there that I can get. Yeah, let me... I'm going to go... Uh, do we have any room in the back of the tr of the uh, Brogan to, to not have this all the time? Not yet. Okay, let's see here. Can I... I guess, you know what? I don't need this new gun. Drop this gun. Hey, Jeffrey. Yeah. A lot of people... Or there's a lot of talk about slowdowns and, and frame drops and stuff in SOD2, and I'm, I can't keep up with chat because there's three different streams coming in on the questions. Yeah. Um, if people could mention in chat the people who are having problems with... Um, Choppy frames and stuff like that. Are you trying to play uh, multiplayer? Don't forget, don't forget yeah. Warbox. I think oh, Warbox has got his own car. I oh. spawned a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, yeah, we'll make sure that Warbox catches up. So, so do you want to head to the other play card? And we'll, yep. we'll see if there's any. Uh, we can probably grab some food on the way back from this one because I think it's right near a value wagon. Uh, but yeah, so, 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 so. Um, Brent was just pointing out that... Wait a minute. Did I just pull over too early? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I pulled over too early. Uh, so, yeah, so Brent is pointing out that if you are having trouble with performance and stuff in, in State of Decay, um, particularly, uh, you know, take note of whether you're seeing those problems in multiplayer, and uh, you can go to... Oh, there's a bloater. Careful. You can go to uh, support.stateofdecay.com, and I can throw that up on the screen in just a sec. You can go to uh, support.stateofdecay.com, and, uh, and 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 re report the issues you're having right now. We're pretty slammed because we've got a lot of new players. But uh, if you want to head up there, uh, you can you can report the issues you're having. And and whether you know whether we can offer you solutions right that second, or whether just knowing about your problems helps us fix the game long term. Either way, it's really useful to communicate with us that way. Um, gaming. For, let's see. I, gaming for forever HD uh, says it's happening solo, and I honestly have no idea why it would be happening solo is it on pc or xbox oh thank you whoever just killed the feral that was on me by the way you're welcome <laughs> it's like, i don't even know you're not even near me i don't even know where like but you can still tell when there's a feral on me oh my gosh i just realized i'm completely out of health okay there we go Woo. there's a lot of freaking zombies here all right i'm gonna fireball them okay how do you how do you guys Played this nightmare game solo. I just don't understand. We tuned this to be not fun for us because we could not survive. I can't even play it not on nightmare. Like I just, <laughs> there's no way I can even play it anymore. Oh, but, this is nuts. Which is sad, really. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, looks like we took out that play card. Um, and by we, I mean that in the loosest possible sense. Uh, oh, oh, good. We got another toolkit. That'll be really useful for keeping the cars alive. Um, do I, really I know there's know another feral around here. Watch your back, Cork. I think I need to. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Got it. Search, I'm sitting here searching this uh, play cart, and that is not what I need to be doing. I need to be capturing the action because I am the camera. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, gaming Forever Ooh. HD, if you're having continual problems on your Xbox and you're playing solo, then um, that's definitely something uh, we'll have to look into because typically the slowdowns happen when you got multiplayer and since it's peer-to-peer, -peer, you're kind of hamstrung by the slowest connection. Um, 
for for if you're playing solo on Xbox One X, then um, definitely Something's send a gone ticket wrong. in. Yeah, send a ticket in. We'll. I mean, like like Jeffrey said, we are we are getting a lot of input these days because we have so many new players, and so it may take us a little bit to get to it. But um, please send us a message on support.stayedk.com. We'll we'll try and get to it. <laughs> My character's in such bad shape right now. Let's uh, let's see if we can head over to that value wagon, <laughs> pick up some uh, some food, and then I'll probably want to take that out, send that food home. And uh, while uh, and oh, actually, we should probably maybe we can claim it as an outpost to get a little bit more food. Too. <coughs> uh, do you by chance need a first aid kit? You know what? Yes. Do you have one? I've got two. Oh my gosh, Court, oh. you're awesome. Thank you. I told you I'm always prepared. You Damn, are Doc, super you prepared. Right I need to I need to drop something of mine here to, to grab oh. it. Let's uh, drop that Who's toolkit. Running. All right. It's yes. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> this character has kind of low health anyway, so it's kind of a kind of a problem. Uh, yeah, that is a problem. Oh, look! It looks like a Warbucks might already be at the value wagon. So let's oh, uh, let's go. Let's go play bumper cars all the way over there. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Just don't Jeffrey, get me killed. <laughs> Jeffrey, I don't appreciate how you're treating the car with my son's name on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is this thing uh, already claimable? Thank you. Wow, you guys are just way ahead of the game. All right, folks. The outpost is up and running. Hey, are you guys finding any... Uh, I guess I'm the one who would find the rucksacks, right? Yeah, there we go. So, okay, there's a rucksack there. I need to drop off this materials rucksack, though, before we can... Oh, wait, drop... Yeah, uh, let me... What should I do? I should use the claim table over here to send something back to my community. You know, I never remember to use snacks anyway, or... Uh, I'll send back the, the plague samples. That's what I'll send. And then that leaves a space in my inventory so I can grab something out of the back of the... Brogan. Like the fire bombs. The, wait, all the fire bombs. <laughs> there we go. And we now I'll grab those. that food. Yay, inventory I management. Some parts in here on the floor. Inventory management is the most fun part of our game, and I'm really glad that we're we'll able to share this beautiful piece of content, exciting Best content part. with our audience. Best part. Uh, oh, a folding state map? That's great. So, who drank my beers on Twitch asked, does this issue with jugs appear in Daybreak? I believe it appears with all jugs right now, but yeah. we're working. It's all jugs everywhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know if, if the Blood Plague juggernauts are any different. I don't think they are. I think that it's, it, it's, it has to do with sort of the fundamental rules of how those characters work. All right, well, if you folks are ready, I think, why don't we head back to base drop off the rucksacks, and then um, maybe head over to the Bounty Broker real quick? Give me a moment, and I'll be right with you guys. All right. Just two the characters out. I'll ride with Warbox. Okay. Uh, we're not going to get outside the tether if we head home from here, are we? Uh, no. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> we'll just barely be within the tether limit. That's All right. Well, let's, uh, let me make sure I actually know where we're going. Okay, there we go. BSG Hardcore on Twitch asks, how do I get more people in my base? Well, the easiest way is to go do things, to go do missions for en uh, enclaves that yeah. show up on the map and ask you for help, or use your radio menu to call in survivors if you have, uh, like, uh, prestige yeah. or something like that. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can call in. And, and we're, actually, we're aware that that's actually one of the problems people have, is that it can be really time-consuming and inconvenient to do that much work for, for, um, for other enclaves and stuff in order to get uh, recruits. And so we, because, we're, because we're aware of that, yeah, I'm completely out of storage, that's fine. Uh, because we're aware of that, you know, we're, we're trying to think of, uh, of maybe new solutions that will make it a little bit easier and more straightforward for folks to recruit people because we realize that it, that is a struggle. Um, but right now, that is, Brent is correct. That is the best way to go about it. So, okay, I, I don't have knowledge of mechanics. I can't upgrade my uh, workshop. But let's build some beds, upgrade some beds. And so now, okay, we've got three food, which, you know, means we're not starving to death, but 
Uh, we're still not doing great. I would actually, yeah, uh, I would love it. If we do see here, do we have any missions on the map that might give us a shot at, uh, let's see here, a stranger called help survivor activity. Oh, they're way far away. That guy's a little closer. I feel like, I don't know, when we got, when we're in multiplayer, uh, going on missions might not be the most exciting thing to do, but... Uh, in Nightmare, they, they turn pretty exciting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, why don't we head over to the bounty broker real quick and then, and then go on this mission and maybe it'll, it'll give us some progress towards uh, a recruit. Go to sleep, Brandon. I put two med kits and three... Plague cures in the, in the trunk of that car, Jeffrey. So, oh, thank you. If, you need to, if anybody takes a plague cure out, it's going to take out all three. So just use one and put the other two back. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry about. That. I think I think I actually took uh, I took them all out just to make room for something. Um, no problem, no problem. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you know, we need two people with plague cures at the same time, and one person takes them out. I've got six on my character. <laughs> so I've got I just I just put some in the back of uh, I put some in the back of Warbucks's car too. All right. All right. So gray that games gray that games ass. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. That's about the cheese economy. We don't need that. <laughs> that's magic man. Um, somebody said we need that. Uh, let's see. Tank Pro HP on uh, YouTube says multiplayer needs to be dedicated servers and yeah, that would be the ultimate. Uh, thing to do that way, but we had to make that decision like three and a half years ago. And <laughs> um, there's there's one benefit to having peer to peer in that if Microsoft ever decided to turn off the the state of the K two servers, you would not be able to play our game again. So this right. way you'll be able to play it. Well, bloaters, and, watch it. So yeah, I still do not know my way around Providence Ridge well enough yet. I keep having to sort of check the map to remind myself where the where the roads are and things. Yeah, don't feel bad. <laughs> I, I get lost all the time in it. <laughs> Is it weird, like to to get a map, you know, like two years into the game, when you've when you've established a sense of like really knowing where everything is? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's totally <laughs> destroyed so much. It's gotten a few characters killed for sure. <laughs> A few? A Only few. a few. Only Are we few. not talking about the other day? Not the purge. No, we're not going to talk about the purge. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about the purge. <laughs> he refused to ask for help. I didn't refuse. It all happened so quick. It was. So what's that mission where you're supposed to use the scent block and a hundred zombies show up? Oh, yeah, that. So I, got back, I got to my base and that. Oh, and wow. there's two or, three, two or three juggernauts and a feral. And I lost four characters that were maxed out out of my eight. Now, I'm wow. Sure the only reason I didn't lose all eight is because the other three... <laughs> they just did. Okay, I just want to make sure I've got room in my inventory for the for the last bounty. I do. I don't think I do. All right, oh, so I, I just claimed a bunch of bounties. So... Now, again, we should repeat, the Critical Response Pack, we originally planned for the Critical Response Pack to expire this month. So I think all of our messages say, like right here, this pack will be retired in April 2020. We're not actually going to do that. We're going to let it stay for another month. But still, it is the one that um, that's going to go next. And so, Killing Bloaters with Pistols. That's the last one that I haven't gotten yet in that pack. So I'm going to make sure to activate that one. And then, I don't know, let's see here. Recruiting survivors. I definitely need to do that with this community, so I'm going to grab that one. And What's... getting on clips to allied status is how you do that. So I think I'll, I'll grab those too. Those are longer term uh, type things, but whatever. And then, so, uh, yeah, Brent? Oh, sorry. Brian Menard, uh, we, don't, we can't have player bot servers or player funded servers because we don't have the architecture for, for server networking like that. It's all built in as peer to peer. Yeah, we kind of have to start over from scratch to make to make that work. Oh. Uh, but but we have you know we definitely heard you know the, basically the community outcry for that kind of thing, and we um, you know so so we're, we're keeping that in mind. But it might be the kind of thing that really could only work um, you know over over the long term uh, for the franchise, and not necessarily as as something we could just patch into this game. You don't want to patch something like that in anyway. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be a ground up 
like yeah. restructuring like, of our whole game. You might as well make a brand new game from scratch if you're going to be doing something like that. Um, random guy uh, asks, uh, did you guys enhance the AI because they've been doing a better job at shooting and fighting? Uh, if the AI has been doing a better job of helping you out lately, we're very happy for you, and that's that's great. Uh, we're actually, we're really aware that people have uh, raised that as one of the major concerns with the game. Uh, and so we're putting some time and effort into trying to make uh, improvements. I think there might have been a few made already, but uh, but we're, we're, we're still working hard on that. We don't think they're quite there yet. Uh, Scar, where are you going? Where's, oh. Kill that juggernaut. <laughs> you just go and kill a juggernaut without without involving the rest of us. Oh, hey, uh, Court, I hope you don't mind uh, rolling over in the car. Jeffrey <laughs> flips the car <laughs> just for no reason. I mean, you can't you can't see where the bumps are underneath that uh, underneath that lake. Okay. No. Until here we go. So let's um. Here, I'm gonna head over. I'm trying to catch up to where Scar is, and then let's go. <laughs> let's go see what's up with that mission. Scar. <laughs> Back opposite direction of where I need to be. Oh, oh just in time to catch him on, catch him in the headlights. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. You're going to walk in on sh sunshine for a second there, Scar. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> okay, we're coming, we're coming. Uh, so Warbucks is, wait, where'd Warbucks go? I'm tethered in, tethering in. Oh, there. you just tethered in. Okay, ah, Scarproof, is that your door? Okay, cool. Yeah, I got him. I got him too. I got him too. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, wait, where did I put the, oh, yeah, uh, Warbucks is going the correct direction, and I am not, so I'm going to follow Warbucks. Netterfu, I, I believe like... Jeffrey is playing Nightmare Mode right now. Yeah, Jeffrey is playing Nightmare Mode. The only way Jeffrey ever plays Nightmare Mode is if he's got a bunch of people from Discord helping him. Uh, so, right now we've got, we've got three people who are some of our favorite folks. We got, uh, Scarproof, Warbucks, and Court88. Who, uh, if, if you want to meet these people, uh, you join our Discord, which is at discord.gg slash state of decay. Uh, if, if you're interested in being part of the heart of our player community, definitely go join join that. These folks who are playing with me really know what they're doing. They're the only way I could possibly survive nightmare mode. And uh, so, so definitely, you know, if you want to uh, like connect with folks who really know how to play the game, go over there. You'll find You'll find some of the best. So we've got trouble brewing. I don't. I, I don't remember. I don't recognize the name of this mission. Travel I don't either. <laughs> yeah. Hostile. Anybody alive in here? I am not geared for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh wait, that's a guy. Okay, I thought that was a zombie. No, there's, there's some people here. Let's uh, let's go talk to Paul about Leo. Oh, uh, crap. Um, these are cannibals. <laughs> are they? Oh, sweet. I love the cannibals. Oh, I've got a weird question. I don't! There. <laughs> They're I like, like the nicest food. group you run across. <laughs> <laughs> They're so kind. They're just, they, they, they've got a lot to compensate for, I guess. I think these are really super nice people. Right, and they give you food. <laughs> you don't have to questions, that's all. They make a great brisket. <laughs> so uh, I need to talk to this person named Keandra? Where's Keandra? Where's Keandra? Is that, is that her? Oh, she's fighting a zombie right now. Hey, Keandria. Ke it's Keandria. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Someone here called for help, and I can't find him. Oh, well. Okay, well, okay, so this is not... This mission is not going to be a source of recruits for me. Uh, so... No. <laughs> so maybe I'm wasting my time out here. Uh, are, there, are there other missions that might be good? There's another survivor activity mission. Oh, it's way the heck down there. That there's most likely going to be your best bet for recruitment. Yeah, that's true. So, so any mission that's labeled survivor activity is likely to be an ambient mission, and those are the missions that it's actually it's it's it takes some time, but it's it's the easiest to recruit from those communities. So for folks who have that question, look for missions called survivor activity, and then after you've done those missions and you've got enclaves on the map, when those enclaves ask for help, keep doing nice things for them, and most of them will eventually become recruitable. Occasionally, there's one that we call uh, under the hood or called the uh -huh. arseholes. Uh, they don't do they don't they don't help you. They eventually just start a fight with you, but most of them do. Okay, so do we want to, uh, let's try to head south towards that mission and just hit a couple of play cards on the way. Does that sound good? Somebody's got a, a phone Lord, ringing. Wait. All right. Everybody ready to go? If by ready, you mean already coming Already to, what the heck? You people are faster <laughs> than me. Okay, Fine. Fine. I just can't keep up with these folks. 
Yeah, let's, I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna shine my headlights in here so that uh, the audience can see you guys. The work. shadows are so much better now. Oh yeah, no, seriously. seriously. All the lights look better. Oh, it's so much better. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's just start heading down the road this direction, and we'll just we'll take out a couple of these plague hearts along the way. Sure. Folks, folks want to all get in the car. Let's. Uh... Okay, so I want to go to the south. I'm an excellent driver. Uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about what? My phone ringing. Oh, oh, that was the phone. Yeah. No, no. Actually, I, so I've got we've got a landline here at our house that uh, at one point it started uh, it started ringing during uh, a meeting that I was having with uh, somebody in the office, and they were just horrified that I had a landline. They're like, "What is that wrong is with you?" <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah, we like, we, I like having a phone number that we can give to you know people we don't like, so that uh, they're not like buzzing <laughs> their pants all the time. What's a uh, landline? Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey got a question here. Yes. Um, JJ Carroll says, now that the DLCs are free with the update, will completing Heartland, for example, allow a player to add their characters from Heartland to their legacy pool? And the answer to that is no, because those characters were crafted specifically for that space. All right, I'm gonna. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire! <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Oh, Feral, Feral! Oh. Got it. Nice. Teamwork! Oh, sheesh, what kind of gun are you using? Masterwork AR. Oh, gotcha. Eternal Guard. Ah! Oh, Eternal Guard, nice. Hello. Except for the reloads, that gun's amazing. <laughs> Oh, I'm out a lot of ammo. That's why um, I can't shoot these zombies. Oh, we got a juggernaut out front. Never mind. Game, you get now. Not anymore. Game forever H H G. Uh, in answer to your question, I like my job, so I can't really talk about that. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah. So, but we actually, uh, I would love it if at some point we were able to figure out a way to. Um, to, to tie Heartland, uh, your successes in Heartland, back into uh, the main game. Uh, this has been something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time, and we just have not found the right way to do it yet. But uh, but that's it's not a crazy thing to ask for, and uh, and so yeah, we've we've sort of seen the desire for it too. So I don't know. Uh, right now we've got we've got other irons in the fire. We've got other things that were uh, you know improvements to the game that we're working on, and so it probably won't be that one immediately. But yeah, we'd like to at some point. But when I say we'd like to do something, that is definitely never a promise that is going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> we no, would like we would like to we do practically it. practically everything anyone ever suggests, uh, with, with 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 the exception of a few crazies. Uh, we want to do almost everything you folks say. The question is just what we can do, and so we have to make some very tough decisions about that sometimes. I'm out of uh, flame. Uh, flame. I've got oh, I've got some fire bombs. Um, well, that was wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, Cord. Oh no, I hit oh. an invisible wall again. Oh, no. oh Feral. Yeah. Cord, Cord, Feral. Feral. North, South, East. There we go, got it. Well, I actually felt useful for a second. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, somebody clipped that with Jeffrey actually contributing to the group. <laughs> <laughs> He's contributing. As long as he's staying alive, he's good. You're right. Come on, Cart. We both know the truth here. Oh. Did I? Actually... <laughs> okay, I couldn't tell if I actually hit the play cart with that fuel bomb, but I think I did. I think I mostly hit Warbucks, though. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in the room on fire! Oh, my gosh! First aid kits in the oh, car. Wait. Oh, it's already dead. It was still glowing a little bit, so I thought it was still alive, but it is dead. Oh, we got some more. It's just nothing but materials these days. Oh, three bloaters. That means parts. Oh, I guess that's true. It does mean parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my favorite improvements to the to the uh, to the base are the ones that let you get parts out of materials. 
the CNC mill. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. You can't uh, survive in New York without that. It will be your best friend. What are we doing on fuel? Like, I can't even. Okay, so I'm going to drop some. Hey, if you want to pick up some fuel bombs real quick, I just dropped some on the ground near the, near the Brogan. Nice. Uh, so that. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, so I can get some fuel out of the Brogan and, and, and fuel it up. I have fuel. Oh, okay, well, I, I'm already fueling it up. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to drop the materials where the fuel was in the trunk. Because again, this this game is mostly inventory Tetris. <laughs> okay, so that was some uh, nice plague hearten. Uh, let's grab this one to the south whenever we're ready to go. Folks, ready? Let's get clear out of here. Head south, I believe, is where we want to go. Does anybody else lock the mini-map? Is that only, only me? Lock, oh, you mean lock it so that it's always north, south, east, west, instead of yep. uh, following your... Uh, see, I have I, I can't use it unless it's following my orientation. I, I, just, I, I find it completely impossible to turn my brain around uh, and figure out what direction things are pointing if it's That's not so following funny. me. And I invert my the sticks, too. Does that mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I invert the sticks. I invert the sticks, so I don't think that's related. Did you grow up in one of those um, uh, societies in Australia that don't have this concept of left and right? They only have north, south, east, and west? The, the drain just goes, no. In Massachusetts, I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, Warbucks, well, I think... you need to seek help. You need to seek help immediately. <laughs> you know what it was? I think I played a lot of... You know, the, the, with the joysticks. <laughs> Okay, so uh, do I have any fuel bombs left? No, I just got regular old Molotovs. I got, I got three of them. Okay. I got three as well. You are on. Oh. You guys are on fuel bomb uh, duty then. I'm just going to hack you zombies' heads it? off. You located it? Where's Jeffrey, the Jeffrey, there's a question on when... Oh, here we go. In the bathroom nook. Uh, bathroom nook. What'd you say, Brent? There's a question on when you are going to do a whole Heartland stream on your own, by yourself, <laughs> and finish it. <laughs> Um, Do they want him to see it? Do they want to see him kill the whole community? I, so I was, yeah. I was actually, I was looking through my achievements, trying to figure out, you know, if there were any achievements I could get during the stream, and almost all of the ones I don't have are Heartland achievements. <laughs> like I, I tested Heartland. You know, I was working on the missions on Heartland, and, and I tested a whole bunch of them. Uh, you know, I mean, I, was, I tested the game like crazy, but I never actually played it front to back all the Ooh. way through. Mine keeps blowing up in my face. Oh, Feral. Ah. Get off me. Get off me right now. Fan A Hun says, uh, we should we should do a day uh, play Daybreak on this stream sometime, and I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. We used to do it back when Daybreak was new, but we haven't done it recently. <laughs> nice work. We'll definitely need some help for that though. Yeah, we, we should definitely invite folks like this crew in to help us out with Daybreak. Uh, but we should we should also stream more in Heartland. We should uh, I wouldn't it wouldn't be a bad thing to do like proper Heartland streaming. I love the plague walls. What am I doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're they're like harder plague hearts, right? And basically that's yeah. kind of what you're looking for, right? It's harder plague hearts. Tiered. I like that they're it's a tiered thing. No. Jeffrey, did you open the heart? Uh, oh no, I forgot to. Thanks. I've basically been using whatever gun I get out of each heart on the next heart. Because uh, I keep running out of uh, running out of ammo. Oh, another materials thing and a gun. Oh, and a pipe bomb. <laughs> cool. And I I never remember to snack. So you know what? I, I should just drive these. If anybody wants snacks, I'm about to drop some snacks near the play cart. No, thank you. I use stimulants. <laughs> 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 You're like, I'm sorry, I don't need your food. I have meth. Have you discovered meth? No. Right. <laughs> sure, why not? We'll go with that. <laughs> Jeffrey, you're just going to have to copy what these pros are doing, okay? Yeah, just... no. I'm not a pro. <laughs> you're definitely I'm far from it. You're definitely showing yourself to be more of a pro than I am at this. Um... That's only because I have a lot more time on my hands. <laughs> so I do spend a lot of time playing this game with cheats on. So I'm actually What's kind of... What's your problem? Yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning the wrong <laughs> lessons. 
It's like if there's an opposite of like training in a weight jacket, I'm doing that. I can use. It's like outpost. I've got a. Oh yeah, an outpost. Yeah, let's. Uh, is there a really good place for an outpost around here? Is there like a um, a spot with power or something? And whoa, we've got a bunch of freaks down there just waiting for us on this mission. Oh hey, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to um, get a zombie on you there, Scarproof. Um, oh, I made it back. Cool. All right, let's see. So yeah, let's. Um, we can place it. We can place an outpost wherever. Like, let, let's get down here closer to the mission, and then we'll place an outpost near the mission. All right. I didn't just pass it, did I? No. Okay. I just keep getting paranoid oh, no. that I'm missing a turn. Um, I'm are, you are you still needing food? Oh, I'm sure I am. Yes. Did you see a spot where we should get food? Uh, there should be a food spot right there where I just marked. Yep. Over. Oh, over here. Okay. Uh, well, let's go there first. Let's go. Let's go to uh, Quartz Oh, oh bye, bye, Warbucks. Yeah. Oh. I was curious. Hey, what the world are you doing? Scarproof your door. Hey, there you go. Okay. So. <laughs> We'll head over here to where Quartz marked. We'll we'll uh, clear this place out. We'll claim it. Then we'll go back to the mission. Just whatever you do, don't hit the flag. It will kill your car. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Which thing is the flag? What? Oh. <laughs> Any of the flags. Don't hit them. Okay. Okay. Just, I will. Just, They're like made out of steel. <laughs> just so you know, I've fixed part of that recently. <laughs> so future update. Future update. Yeah, so, Brent, I got, um, one of the things that messed me up at the very beginning of uh, the street, before we even got started, before we even went live, was uh, I hit the uh, the train that's in the river, and my car, like, got stuck on it, and it just sat there vibrating until it exploded. It was great. Classic oh State of Decay 2 moment. It was awesome. The game's perfect. What are you talking about? Absolutely. No, no. This is this is what we came here for. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, definitely. I just realized I'm still holding my materials rucksack, so I gotta do more uh, inventory. Where is the car? Inventory Tetris. Are we outposting this? Place? That is yes, not gonna, my phone. We are gonna. That is my phone, and it's it, it's in a different room from me. So uh, shame, unfortunately, shame. I know somebody else is gonna have to deal with it. Wait, what am I doing? I've got plenty of room in my inventory, so I'm gonna steal this other first aid kit. I'm gonna drop off this materials rucksack. Sorry, I should have disconnected my phone before hosting a stream. Um, it sounds like you two have the exact same phone. <laughs> it used to be a really good phone back in the day. I think now it's mostly just like everything's out of batteries all the time, and one of our receivers is just constantly it makes it makes a vibration all the time whenever it rings, like like one of those that like that rings in your ears like tinnitus. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to uh, just drop a Molotov so that I could grab, I don't know, repair kit, I guess. Drop off the food, claim this outpost, and then we're good to go. Claim outpost. Claim! Confirm! Man, killing all these plague hearts is um, getting me a lot of influence. <laughs> kind of a ridiculous amount of influence. Oh, Jeffrey, I've got plague samples for you. Oh, okay. Uh, I think. Do I have some already in my inventory? I do. Yeah. If you if you drop those, I can pick them up. Already dropped. Sweet. Thank you. I'm gonna need those because apparently I just get plague all the time for no reason. For no reason? Is that where we're going? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had plague at the beginning of the stream. I had no idea why or when it had happened. Ah. <laughs> I should drop off some of this stuff. So, I... no reason. So I'm out of bullets on this guy. I don't know who you are, but why are you adding me? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, so that happens a bit. I'm, uh, I should have warned you about that, Court. Whenever we uh, stream, people will just sort of randomly add me as their friend on Xbox Live, and that can happen to people who get in the stream, too. Uh, folks out there, please, you know, these are really awesome folks, but they don't necessarily want to be your friend. I'm just going to be the one to say that. Uh, <laughs> so, you know... Yeah, just, uh, you know, be, sh 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 show, show some politeness here. Just give, give people their space. I tell you what, I'm going to be right back. I need to collect this f level five. Uh, I need this level five to work here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so we can go to that. Man, this, okay, this mission is going to be great because it's completely surrounded by freaks. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. There's a horde. Okay, a horde just, just went by us. Oh, it's just a little one. 
I didn't even know we had hordes this size in Nightmare. I mean, I know we've got the big ones too, but wow, that is kind of sad. Uh, Jeffrey, do you still need ammo? Um, let's see here. I've got a gun that fires five five six right now, but I'm just switching over to a uh, to a twenty two. I've got twenty two. Uh, if you, if you <laughs> want to share it, I'm not going to say no. Oh wait, oh my character is completely exhausted. Actually, um, let me. Here, I'm going to drop off a bunch of this stuff, and then I'm going to switch characters. Okay, so would you rather have twenty twos or five five six? Um. Let me switch characters and see what my character, what my new character's got. Okay. So I'm gonna bring. Who am I gonna bring? Everyone's starving, of course. Uh, <laughs> bring Tara. I like Tara. She's cool. Oh goodness. So yeah, Joe Swarner. I just noticed on Slack that Joe Swarner was telling me that I needed to uh, switch survivors. I hadn't even noticed how tired I was getting. Uh, oh yeah. So it looks like Tara also has a 22. So, uh, but I've got a fair amount of 22 ammo uh, in my. Supply locker, so I don't know. So you don't necessarily have to give it to me if you don't want to. It's not like I use it. <laughs> <laughs> I right. hoard my five, five, six, seven, six, two, and fifty cal. Right. So yeah, well, I'm not going to take any more. It's if you want to drop, oh look, you've already dropped it. Free Molotov. Well, I, 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 I want to take advantage. Like while this, while this ammo is still really good against juggernauts, <laughs> I want to use it. So. I think I've grabbed everything I can. I'm going to drop some of this off. Jeffrey, we have a question. How often yeah. does the rare trader come? Uh, if you're talking about the the, the weekend trader, that's uh, that that shows up uh, on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, as far as other rare traders go, I have forgotten. I, uh, uh, Brian is usually the one who manages those uh, those numbers, and so he's the one who might know instinctively how often that happens. But if you, but if yeah, but if you're talking about the the rare weekend trader, uh, that just it, it should if you play on the weekends, um, it'll it'll show up pretty. Uh, they'll show up pretty soon each weekend, uh, and then stick around for a little while. Mysterious wandering trader appears Monday through Friday or Friday through Sunday, and then. The rare skills trader, it's completely random. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that, that sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, you've got one right now, and it's only Monday. Mine usually appears anywhere between Tuesday to Thursday-ish. Oh, uh, yeah. But luckily, they stick around for a while, so, uh, you know, maybe if I want some rare skills, I can head up there maybe after this session and try to get some. Presuming I can survive for five minutes in this game without you guys. Oh, hey, it looks like... Um, Scarproof might have headed up to the mission without the rest of us. Uh, Warbucks, you want to head up there with us? <laughs> Scarproof is just, like, completely bored with us. <laughs> okay, Scar I'm not sure if you know it yet or not, but that's what Scar does. He just <laughs> takes off on his own. I mean, he jumped in my game the other night and killed everything around my base. It's like, I wasn't doing that. I'm waiting on something. <laughs> And of course, I was in a Discord chat, so I couldn't even communicate with him. It's like, crap, I'm screwed. I was <laughs> killing everything. I, I mean, I guess it's worse things. Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So I'm gonna talk to a member of the neighboring. Oh, members members. Too. Where, excuses, wait, where are, oh, excuses. There's a neighboring folk. Scar. Hi there, neighboring folk. So there's a play cart over by the tree farmhouse. Okay, yeah, let, okay, well, so we've got some AI people to get killed with us while we go and fight a uh, another play cart. That's cool. Which play cart do they want us to fight? Oh, the one down here in the southwest. So, okay. Well, hey, they know what, they know what we're good at, so uh, by we, I mean you three, so let's, uh, let's head over there. Oh, we can't. Oh, boy. No, we can't bring them with us. That's fine. They'll just, they'll catch up. It's fine. doo ba doo ba doo ba doo Are we going the right way? Oh, we're going that way. Oh, wait, no, I'm just following... Oh, wait, I probably go... Oh, yes, okay, good. I, Scarproof did mark the correct thing. I was I was worried for a second. I'm like, I'm just going wherever Scarproof wants to go. Scar Scarproof saw a butterfly <laughs> in the southwest corner of the map, and uh, we're just going there together. Yeah, because that's totally Scarproof behavior. <laughs> I wander. Indeed, <laughs> you do. So, uh, Sola Soldiery has a question about the, uh, the, the Sheriff Legacy. Uh, they ask, uh, does locking in a Sheriff Legacy finale suspend the ability to build status with incoming enclaves? Um, I, 
I don't think there's a mechanism by which a mission could make it impossible to uh, to, to to build up a uh, relationship with enclaves unless it casts those enclaves in the mission. So so if there's an enclave who got involved in the mission, then that enclave is probably going to be unable to spawn the missions that it needs in order for you to uh, to to build up like you know your relationship with them. Oh wait, I just grabbed a character who does not have a melee weapon. That does not make any sense. Oi. So so yeah, so it can. It really just depends on which missions get in, which uh, enclaves get involved in the missions. Done. Nice. And we've got looks like a medical bag, a revolver. A weapon, which I needed. No room. Oh. All right, so oh, let's talk to Tyler. Oh, Tyler caught up with us. It was oh. my pleasure. Yay, we got some more influence. At some point, I'm going to need power at my base, so... Oh, look, Angie got meds. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh. Wait, where did we put the car? There it is. <laughs> All right, I don't have room in my inventory for that plague sample. Oh, Wait. you took one rock. I've got another one for you. Oh, you got another one? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. I gave you two. Oh, okay, that's great. I didn't even see the other one. Okay, so let's, um, let, you know what? Let's just get, get in the car and go home. How does that sound? I think we need to unload a bunch of these rucksacks and, and try to do more Tetris to uh, make that work. Just sounds like it wouldn't be good. Uh, I guess we'll just head east and then go up the river. Yeah, river's the fastest way. Oh, oh, it looks like uh, War, uh, Warbucks has an idea of the route that we should take. Let's, uh, let's follow. Ah, let's follow Warbucks's uh, suggestion. <laughs> He's trying to jam every single play card in here if he can do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the achievement for clearing out all the play cards on Nightmare, so. What? Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have time. Th if we had done a speed run specifically this this session, maybe we could have pulled it off. But I, I don't know if we could have had, we could ever have done that during one session. Might take a second one. Mm, my record is forty five minutes for all sixteen to eighteen. Oh, that's where that car showed up. I called that car in earlier before the stream, and I was desperate to get back home and limping along. It showed up over here. Polano's my favorite car. Freak dog, there was no update info. You did not miss anything. Yep. Still, so uh, we might be able to tell you about future updates soon, but not during this particular stream. Okay. Well, it looks like I've completely broken my. Uh... Oh, what is that? Take that, you jerk! But there's pearls coming. Yeah, I just I just killed one feral. I don't know if that was the only one. Ugh. Tara's so tired. What the heck is that? <laughs> nice. Oh! I think I just hit the invisible gas. Like you do. Oh, hi, Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Court! <laughs> oh, wow. You're welcome. Yeah, the solution to ferals is teamwork. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I think I... Yeah, I don't I don't really need this gun that I just broke, so I'm just leave that there and get a new one. <laughs> yeah, um, if you join multiplayer very often at all, that's usually your reward. <laughs> Okay, so let me see if I can... Uh... And they do break quite easily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that easy is uh, is problematic. Um, does somebody want to want to bring back this uh, fancy octopus car for me? <laughs> Scar's already got it. Cool. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm going to grab one more thing, I think, out of the... Um... There. Just wanted to grab something else out of the Plague Heart real quick. Okay. Ready to head home. Um, if you need anything else out of there, I've got five pockets. Five pockets. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm not taking this seriously. Okay, so uh, okay. 
Let's go head this way, get in the river, and then uh, take that north to uh, to the base. There's a car in the river. Oh, that's the car that got stuck in the river. Yes, right. that's the car that I'm never getting back. <laughs> well, that's not the right attitude to have for that. <laughs> right, <that's... laughs> yeah, yeah, not with that attitude, Jeffrey. <laughs> that's not going to survive in the nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, I think if I repaired it, it would just explode again. So, uh, or just go flying off, you know. Not that that ever happens in our game. No, because, I mean, that totally didn't happen the other night. <laughs> in so, Fall Down's Four Horsemen stream. So I should, <laughs> I should definitely point out that that is another <laughs> issue with the game that we are aware of. And uh, that we are definitely... Oh, wait. Well, let's go home first. Let's go home first. Uh, bye, Warbucks. <laughs> yes, yesterday, yesterday I used five repair kits. And you know what? We're here. The car blew up. We're here. Let's take care of it. Warbucks is right. Warbucks is right. We're wasting time if we just skip something like this. Wait, you used five repair kits and the car still blew up? It it blew up five times. <laughs> oh my god! Game mechanics gotta love them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I I do not envy people whose job it is to try to make physics work in a video game because it is hard. <laughs> it is not a thing you can just do easily. Especially since we don't actually have a physics programmer. Yeah, we don't have anybody full-time who's an expert on that. We got some folks who are very good generalists who can usually figure out the answers to problems. But, uh, ooh, Hunter's Viper? I'll have to come back here later for that. Don't have any room for it now. I mean, and since we're here, yeah, it looks like uh, Scarproof has noticed that there is a Another plague heart. There we go. Figure we knock out the cluster while we're here, right? Yeah, I mean, might as well. Since they're so easy to fight for some people, you can just sort of just do it, whatever. Oh, what is this noise? Oh, man, another one? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Feral. Plague heart taken care of, at least. Some, something Biscuit from Twitch has a good idea. During the next week, pick up community donations of repair kits for use in the streams. <laughs> oh! Oh, thanks for... Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, there's another one! There's another two between us and the... Wow, okay, cool. Cluster. There is a cluster. <laughs> Hunting play cards with me is a cluster one way or another. Always. Yeah. <laughs> it is 3.58, though, so we're going to have to wrap up the stream in, like, two minutes. Think we can take out this last play card in two minutes? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Are you plagued or injured? No, no, just uh, my character's tired. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything by now? It's so sure. run exhausting characters. Scar is gonna have this thing dead before we even get in the room. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> yep, check that out. Nicely done, Scar. Thank you. Oh, feral. No problem. Watch out for a feral. <laughs> of course, it's a feral. <laughs> Ow, my face. No, no, no! It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. No, help! Save me! Jump out a window, there, guys. Jump out a window. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe. Whoa. I promise. Hey, Warbucks. <laughs> I'm going to take this guy out because I can. <laughs> Warbucks, you just made a great shot. <laughs> All right. Well, um... Let's see if we can get back home before the, uh, here, I'll, I'll hop in as a passenger, drive. Warbucks. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, Warbucks has changed seats. Never mind. Well, how host always drives. Try to be easier. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, what is Scarproof doing? You he can do, you can do it! <laughs> Scarproof just killed the play guard across the river from us. Well, thanks, Scarproof. Uh, how about we just tether you to the base? No, don't oh. Oh, oh, look at that. I wasn't looking where I was going. No. I'm going to make it to the base, though. I'm going to make it to the base. This is such a bad idea. This is the best idea, and I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I just killed my character. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I guess. <laughs> Oh, I'll take care of it. That that's is how best. we that is how we end a stream traditionally. That's the best possible ending we could have hoped for. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, hey, thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> it was You're this was a lot of pleasure. fun for me. So, uh, just real quick, just wanted to uh, give a chance to everybody to say goodbye. Uh, Court eighty eight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, I was really glad to have you. And that uh, Scarproof, uh, thank you for taking out the last play card by yourself. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, yes, Typed Metal, thank you for pointing that out on Discord. <laughs> um, Warbucks, thank you so much for coming in here. You made such a huge difference. I can't believe how much we were able to get done. You're welcome. You know, Thanks for having me. And of course, Brant, thank you for monitoring the chat, filtering all those questions in for us. It was really, really helpful. And uh, especially since you didn't actually get to play the game with us, uh, it was <laughs> we really appreciate your patience with us here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go home and play because now I want to play. <laughs> Okay, well, and then thank you also, audience, for being here with us. Uh, we've got to go, but we love you. And if again, just real quick, if you uh, if, if you want to come and uh, be a part of this community where we meet all these fine people, go to discord.gg slash state of decay. We would love to have you there. And uh, with that, we're going to sign off. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, about 20 seconds before, you know, we actually end the YouTube video. <laughs> yep. As usual, thanks to everybody who's joined us in our in our different streams, and um, we Oops. couldn't do this without oh, you. Yeah. So, thanks, thanks everybody. Yeah, thank you.